Finished drywall and paper covered wall board are two wall covering options that may be available, depending upon the home building facility where your home is built, that will allow you to customize your new home to fit your needs. Check with the home center that you're purchasing your home from to see what wall material options will be used in your home. If you purchase a home with finished drywall, it's easy to care for. Most marks and smudges will only need a slightly damp cloth and warm water. For tougher stains, use a mild detergent and a damp cloth. Be careful not to apply too much pressure as you might damage the surface. Over time, you may want to touch up areas of your home that have been marked or scuffed. Be sure that you keep a little extra paint around for this job. Finished drywall is a unique surface that is finished by hand and as a result, slight imperfections occur in the finished surface. This is common. It is not unusual for hairline cracks and nail pops to appear on the interior walls and ceilings of your home. These are issues that can occur because of the normal expansion and contraction of your home and are generally not a cause for concern. The interior walls of your home may instead be constructed using paper covered wall board or vinyl over gypsum wall board. Like finished drywall, these walls can be cleaned using a slightly damp cloth with mild detergent. Make sure to dry these walls after cleaning them to assure that you do not leave excess liquid on the walls. With these types of surfaces, you'll also notice batten strips, which are small pieces of trim that can cover the seams. If these become loose, put them back in place by gently using a hammer and the existing fasteners. If you notice any fastener holes in your wall board and would like to fill them in, you can purchase putty at your local hardware store that can be used to fill in these holes. Manufactured home ceilings are typically made of drywall panels, although another material may be used. Check with your local home center about available options. Occasionally, you may need to address these concerns, such as gouges, water stains, and smudges. If you find that you have gouges in your ceiling or walls, take the following steps to resolve the issue. First, remove all loose pieces. Then, fill the gouge in with spackling paste and apply with a clean putty knife. Make sure to level the paste off to the surface of the panel. Finally, once the compound dries, touch up the areas with paint. If you get water stains on your ceiling or walls, this could indicate a roof leak or condensation problem. Make sure to first correct or repair the moisture issue that's causing the stain. If you need help determining the cause of the water stain, contact a professional or your home center for assistance. In most cases, once the leak has been stopped, you can repaint the area. If the ceiling has undergone too much water damage, the area may need to be replaced by a professional. Water stains can also often be cleaned by dipping a paper towel or sponge in a small amount of bleach and then blotting the towel or sponge across the stain. There are a few things to keep in mind when cleaning a water stain with bleach. Make sure to wear eye protection and rubber gloves. Also, Cover any areas of carpet or furniture when cleaning the stain with an old bed sheet or tarp to be sure not to drop bleach anywhere it's not desired. Work in small areas of about six inches or less at a time. If you need to apply a second coat of bleach, wait for the first coat to dry completely before applying the second. If you notice smudges or loose dirt on your ceiling, you can dust the area with a soft cloth or use a vacuum cleaner attachment to gently vacuum the smudge or dirt from the ceiling. If you find yourself needing to repaint the ceiling for any reason, make sure to use a good quality product suitable for the surface to be painted. If you're unsure of what type of paint to use, ask your local hardware store or home center. Most ceilings in Clayton built homes are textured or stippled, and painting these kinds of surfaces can be difficult because if you apply too much paint, pieces of the ceiling may fall. If you're going to paint a textured or stippled ceiling, we recommend having the paint job done by a professional. However, if you choose to do so yourself, ask your local hardware store about fast drying paint options that can work best for your type of ceiling. Keeping your walls and ceilings in top shape by cleaning them when needed and repairing any damage that happens over time will keep your home looking beautiful for years.